Here are the exact nine steps I took to make over $468,000 in profit last year. This simple business model can work for anyone. So first I'm going to cover the steps and then I'm going to cover the numbers. So let's begin. Step number one, identify a niche you have knowledge in. This can literally be anything, tractors, soil, accounting, the list goes on and on. Now pro tip number one, niches that relate to money typically have a higher ad payment, but this isn't always the case. So I chose crypto cryptocurrency as it was an interest of mine since 2017, but I wasn't any sort of crypto prodigy. So how was I going to make over a half a million dollars in the space? Well, here comes step two. Pick a social media platform you are comfortable producing content on. We need an advertising channel without spending any money. So enter content marketing. Pro tip number two, you don't even need to show your face as many large creators are making millions per year and have a faceless channel. Now I chose YouTube for a variety of reasons because of the increase watch time and higher AdSense payments, but AdSense only accounts for a small part of my revenue. So where does it all come from? Q step three, decide on a digital product you want to offer. Now, whether I win or lose in my niche, people are attracted to other people doing shit. by simply creating. I'm getting free advertising. Pro tip number three is creating multiple streams of revenue is the absolute key to building wealth outside your hourly time. So I decided to offer a simple beginner's guide to cryptocurrency on Skillshare. It took me two days to film and two days to edit. It wasn't pretty, but it definitely provided a ton of value to new people in the space. I then could offer a two hour class for free with my sign up link and get kickbacks for every student I applied into it. So win win for everyone. Step number four, once the digital product was created and ready to sell, I then decided to create a reoccurring revenue stream. This would be in the form of a private community paying monthly. Now, of course, this started with zero people. So I let the initial 100 in free with discounts of the 400 people following. I needed to start testing channels, the needs of the members, as well as starting to hire moderators as the group grew. Now that all these basic bones were built, we were then ready to start marketing this group. Pro tip number four, always offer more value inside any of your products than the perceived cost. I initially started off at $5 per month, a small cost to pay and a huge value to gain. Now, step number five, last but not least, the affiliate revenue revenue was not overlooked before the marketing started. There are many products I use on a regular basis that my viewers could also benefit from. So enter these types of promotions. Private VPN is always a must for me. So setting up these type of links and putting them in the descriptions when I do produce my content. Step number six is market research. I now have my niche, but I can't go around making random videos, expecting people to fill my funnel. This part is extremely important and must be done extremely well. Create a spreadsheet of information pertaining to the channel, the links, the numbers, the growth, and other interesting information you may want to track other creators for. Pro tip number five, if a topic is doing really well in your niche, try putting your flair or your spin on it as this may also do quite well. All right, let's get into step number seven, designing a simple content creation funnel that can work seamlessly and effortlessly. I personally decided I could handle putting out three to four videos per week, as well as editing them and marketing them after release. Pro tip number six is join a hundred plus Facebook groups in your niche. This is what I did in the very beginning of this process. It does help get initial viewers and feedback on some of this first content you're starting to produce. I personally would create videos of what I was investing at the time and whether it won or lost me money, I would include this in the videos. Inside my videos, I would recommend my community where I found a lot of these tips as well as my class and these links. All aspects of my funnel were working together. I would be researching, discussing, discussing and investing inside my private community. And if something went extremely well, I would then create content on this system, basically pointing back to my community where I originally found this working in a full circle here. Step eight would be to implement a process to handle scalable growth. One of my favorite parts about digital products and this community is that it can scale to tremendous heights without increasing the cost at the same rate. But with that being said, as we grew, I decided to hire community moderators as well as a executive assistant to help me in my inbox. Now, pro tip number seven is that with sites like Fiverr, Upwork, or even other Discord communities, it is extremely easy to find contract work at a great price. I've hired social media managers, video editors, logo designers, team leaders, voiceover
voiceover artists, and many more. The last step on my list is to look for feedback and improve any of these processes. I personally would try to speak with as many members in my community as well as reply to as many comments as possible on these videos to get feedback as well as to ask important questions on content I would be producing in the future. All right, now that you've seen the strategy that has taken me to these heights, let's dive into where some of these numbers all come from. I'm gonna be breaking down each revenue source in detail so you can see the keys to having multiple and how they add up very quickly. Seeing as though my channel is based on trading and investing, let's start there first. Because I was in the trenches buying shit coins left, right, and center. And now the mark, oh! To zero. I was fortunate enough to hit some 50 to 100 X's on some of these projects. Long-term investing in the space has been extremely risky, but trading has been wildly profitable for me. I profited 200 K from trading last year. And yes, I do understand that this is taxed differently than business income, but due to the community, I would have never seen these opportunities. Next, let's talk about the community I built, which helped me accomplish all of these numbers. Now, after a few of my videos on YouTube went viral, so did the demand for this group. I initially started with 400 members, but quickly grew to over 2000 at its peak. After experimenting with the first 500 users, we decided to peg the price at $25 per month per user. This created over $150,000 worth. We're averaging out about $13,000 per month, but at a cost of $25, this was a huge win for all of the members inside. Next, let's talk about sponsorships. Now these don't typically pop up until a creator is of decent size and pulling decent views. Now each niche has a different price that the advertiser is willing to pay per view, but this can range from a 30 second name drop to an entire video review. If the sponsor provides value to your audience, everyone wins. Sponsorship was approximately 50K or about 4K a month. Next is the course I offer offered to my viewers for free. Skillshare has a great process in place, whereas they provide me with a link to offer my viewers two weeks free on their platform. My two hour class could easily be taken in two weeks and these users were free to cancel at any time. Regardless, Skillshare paid me per sign up, So this created a perfect little revenue stream at about 35K in profit. Next, the YouTube channel produced profit, but not what people think. YouTube pays in terms of views, but again, this can generally vary depending on the niche. Ballpark. $1 is paid for every 2,000 views. And so this profited me about 25 grand last year. Following that is the affiliate revenue or these links that I would put in my descriptions we talked about earlier. NordVPN, Binance, and Amazon were the majority, which brought in approximately 25K that year. Next on the list is real estate and other stock investments. Capital preservation and diversification is extremely important to me. So growing an offline portfolio is also on my to-do list. Profit here was around 10K for the year. What's left that year is split in between miscellaneous consulting work and my leftover dropshipping store. But miscellaneous made me 20k. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some motivation. I'm currently compiling this year's numbers, so make sure to like and subscribe to see that video coming out soon. Until next time, take care.